party people what's up welcome welcome back to my channel i'm tori thank you so much for being here today i thought i would just pick up the camera and start this vlog this weekend is going to be very exciting i'm currently not in la i'm in chicago i'm here partly for a harry styles concert but also to really hang out with some of my best best friends so i arrived last night please ignore my skin hormones are at an all-time high right now so it's not the clearest um but anyways <laughs> I arrived last night. One of my besties, Miranda, she picked me up from the airport and we ended up going to Chinatown to this restaurant called MCCB for dinner. We had some like Chinese food and then we ended up also getting some boba, which was really good. Um, and then this morning we're gonna go get coffee at one of her favorite spots. Um, so yeah, I think you're all caught up now. Um, so let's go. Okay, party people, here's a little outfit of the day. I'm, I'm just wearing this leather jacket that I thrifted a really long time ago. I have on this Zara sweater vest. I'm then just like a random plain t-shirt. I'm wearing my Aritzia flare yoga pants, which I love and that I wore on the plane yesterday. So they're kind of disgusting. Um, and then my little Bejas. And then for my accessories, I just have my Madrid hoops that I wear all the time. Yeah, this is the fit. I'm gonna go get some coffee and bagels, and then I'm gonna be left on my own for a little bit. But that's the look. vanilla almond milk latte and a lox bagel and it was $14. If I was in LA, the bagel alone would be $14. Oh my God, this looks so good. Oh, not all these capers falling out. Oh my God, this looks so good. 10 out of 10 and it was like $6. I don't even want to cry. I'm gonna cry. cry. I don't want to admit that this is happening. Like I'm not no, accepting this. In my mind, it's not happening. Like I will show. I'm, up. I'm showing up. I don't. Hello, vlog. <laughs> I'm pulling out the camera. I'm so upset. Right now to document like, this, we were in a dispensary. We we're picking up party favors, and we found out that Harry's concert for tonight got rescheduled to Monday because of COVID related reasons. And like, obviously, whoever might have COVID praying for you and your health, but what the fuck? Like, actually, no, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I genuinely know do don't know what to do. Cause like, I mean, obviously we'll have fun in Chicago regardless, but. Well, this could have been its own, like we could have planned We could have planned something anyway. better. What I'm saying is that like the whole thing is centered around this. Yeah. yeah and now we it's have no and it's not like you can plan right now because you really don't know what's gonna happen in 24 hours if yeah. it's covid if it is covid like if it's then none of these like, shows are happening if, if, which, exactly, at all so like how are you gonna pay to extend your trip if you don't even know for sure that we're gonna be able to go true like, it's gonna be expensive yeah i Oh my god imagine so if you money. were like camping out for pit right now oh and god. you got that if you got oh that tweet. Oh my god, I feel so bad. You know people are. No. For sure. Like, yeah. Chicago. Like some people probably definitely are. Like. Oh my god. I can't believe this. <laughs> There's so much happening right now. Oh, cheers. Cheers to all of our dreams being crushed. <laughs> Wait, Miranda, what are you doing? <laughs> Clearing my calendar for the day. It's so serious. <laughs> None of this matters. Plans have changed. <laughs> it's official. Harry is off the calendar. Knife to the heart! It's actually still there for him to get master once I've once. Delete it again. <laughs> I know you really went all out. I love it. 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 I love it
Josh jumping me again. And look at this. Miranda, what is it called? Moyet. It looks She said, I'm trying to get a moyet, please. Moyet. I'm a Chocolate chip scone. Some scone action, Maya. Some carbs. And then I got a Cuban. So we're feeling very sandwich. We're in our sandwich era every time we're in Chicago. All right. Good morning, party people. What's up? I can't remember the last thing I said to the vlog, but all I remember is us crying yesterday over Harry Styles. Anyways, what we did yesterday is we ended up going to our friend Nicole's house. We had Portillo's, which is like a Chicago classic. And then we went and saw Bros, which I don't think I got any of that on camera because we all just got more drunk as the night went on and that was not something to pull a camera out for. Now it's Friday. We're all working from home. We're all working in this little like working space and we all got jumping bean again. And then our new Harry plan is we're just gonna go to our Monday show. I'm just gonna reschedule my flight. I got- After three o'clock. Yeah, depending on the news today. If the United Center and HSHQ don't say anything by like 3 p.m., I'm gonna reschedule my flight and then just go to the Monday show, which was the show they gave to us. But if it is COVID related, I'm just gonna go home and not see Harry in Chicago, which is a sad thing to think about. Um, well, you're gonna see him so many times, so it's really not that. Okay, that's very true. <laughs> but I wanted to see him with you guys. That was the whole point. Yeah, So, yeah. Catch you later. Hey, party peeps. It's a little while later, and we're gonna go to lunch. So I thought I would show you my outfit and then take you along with us to lunch, because all we did this morning was work from home because we're corporate good girlies. corporate girlies <laughs> literally so this is the fit let's do it um i brought no clothes because guess what i thought i was only gonna be here for a weekend old zara sweater thrifted skirt my vejas and then this um purple bag that i got from thread up last fall <laughs> bless you Seriously, cannot get over how gorgeous this view is. Like, it's so cold here, but all vibes are like, they're hitting. Like, gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby girl. Hello, party peeps. It's a little while later. It's literally like 4 p.m. It's really windy outside and it's very cold, even though the sky is like gorgeous and blue. But I think we're done working for the day. My friends and I are all meeting around like 6 o'clock. We're gonna get drinks, get dinner, like, probably actually go out tonight instead of like wallowing in self-pity so i waited until like four to buy my ticket and so i'm gonna stay here and hopefully all the hairy shows still happen i have faith a lot of my friends are like you know it's probably gonna happen yeah that's the game plan did we just ditch everyone to take instagram photos oh yeah we did you gotta look out for yourself look out for number one look at this guy <laughs> Golden hour over everything. Like, look, are you kidding? Can we get a focus? That's Miranda. Let's hey. go. <laughs> Let's go. As I go take more pics. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> if it's good enough for Casey Musgrave to start a song about it, it's good enough for you to sit down, take some time out of your day, and take a picture of it. So, it's golden hour. Casey Musgrave has a song about Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> she should. All right, hi party peeps, we're going out. Time to show you the outfit of the day with all my girlies. Um, I have an audience right now. Uh, I did my makeup, I'm very proud of myself. I have on this thrifted leather jacket, this Reformation top, this skirt, and shoes, and then this bag. Same bag as before.
we're just we just came back from dinner. Where did we go for dinner? Do six. Do six. We went to Pilsen Yards for drinks and then do six for dinner. And now Lizza's making us espresso martinis. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, Lizza's about to make mine and she's making mine with 818. This is the only Jenner Kardashian brand I buy with my own money. If there's someone from the 818 team watching this, you need to sponsor us or a friend group. This is all we drink. I am not kidding. We're like known for bringing the A1A to the parties. A1A, you need to have a booth at Lollapalooza next year. I'm sick of drinking these canned cocktails at that festival. I really just want to do a bender. You can do a little bit more, but I just do a shot. For each martini? For each martini. Your espresso. Uh-huh. You pour it in. Okay, delicious. Right? And then I like to go over the sink because I spill. It already did. Oh. See, I told you I spill. Okay. Oh my god, I'm ready for this frog. Wow. That's a lot. Two shots of vodka. Two shots of A1A. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Just a hint of espresso. Then watch this. That's Ooh, fun. this is good. A1A is really good. Okay. gaming at my friend Nicole's house and my friend Nicole and her roommate Melissa who's also our friend literally set up this entire place to be Harry's house centric because we were meant to pregame here for our concert and we will be pregaming here on Monday but I need you all to see how freaking cute this shit is. Can you please give okay. us a tour? Yeah so we'll start with the little backdrop here that we hand painted. Um, it was inspired against a photo that we saw of Harry with hearts in the back and then we set up all these heart glasses and a cowboy hat as a Like, are you kidding? For literally all of us. Literally. For the girlies. And then, um, obviously, we had to switch out our vinyls for One Direction and Harry albums. You also bought, like, all this alcohol so we could oh, have, yeah. like, Harry-themed <laughs> drinks. Watermelon-themed drinks. There is kiwi in the fridge, you guys. <laughs> also, like, so much, so many balloons that still need to be blown up for... <laughs> oh, so there's still a surprise on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all haven't seen it all. <laughs> I'm so excited. The The pictures are going to be beautiful and like, we're going to be so annoying. Yeah, so annoying. <laughs> so we're going to be Instagram. so annoying on Instagram. Sorry. Okay, that's it. We're going to go back to the Cajunata boiler room vibe. <laughs> Ready, Maya? Time to thrift. Time to thrift. Time to recycle a little bit of clothing. All right, Maya and I are on a mission just to get clothes because yeah, we've I extended have... our trip here. <laughs> Not a single ounce of clothing to wear. But we'll Must see. Must get hairy butt ass naked. <laughs> he would love that though, would he? He would love that. He would love that. This is like a fake long shop and it literally looks like something. I like that... creator. Yeah. If you're watching this, that's your new thing. Can you make them? Can you make them? Thanks. <laughs> It's been a very chill day. I've just been catching up with my friends, Nicole and Melissa. I slept over at theirs. I'm kind of couch hopping between all of my friends. Very chill morning. We ended up going to this place, Breakfast House. Yes. We went to Breakfast House for breakfast and then we ended up going thrifting. I thought I would do a little thrift haul. I only got four pieces because I still have to 
bring all of this back in a carry on, but that's okay. Um, the first place we went to was this place that our friend Lissa has talked really highly about. It's called Village Discount um, over in Roscoe Village. And it was very overwhelming. I did not get many clips in there because there were so many people. The prices in there were so wild. Everything was like $5. I didn't see anything more than 20, to be honest. And so the first thing that I got was sweater. I just thought the colors were so pretty. And it has this really fun zipper detail that I really love that I was looking for in a sweater. And it was $5.70. I We are immediately going to throw out all of these things into the washing machine after I'm done filming this clip. And then I also got this jacket for $10. It's just this really nice like brown, like it kind of has like a work jacket kind of cut, uh, but it's 10 bucks and it's from this brand that I've never heard of called Emmanuel. So there's that, very cool, very exciting. I was honestly super discouraged for like the first hour we were in there cause I couldn't find anything. And then within the last 10 minutes I found both of those pieces. And then we went to this place called Shangri-La Vintage, which was like three minute walk away. And then I got a couple pieces as well. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wear these to Harry Styles on Monday, we'll see. The first thing that I have is like this metallic floral print top. I really like metallics for fall, especially because I can't wear like extremely heavy knits or anything in California. So I thought this would be really fun. And I thought if I just like buttoned like the middle two to like hide my bra, it could be really fun going out top. It was 20 bucks, which is a little more on the pricier side, but I think for the quality it's worth it. And the tag is so cool. It's from the brand Shaker Sports. Um, and then I got this really fun slip dress for like 15 bucks. Um, and I just thought that the, the material of it was really fucking cool. So I'm excited. Might also potentially wear this on Monday. We'll see. But yeah, that's it. Overall, I spent like 50 bucks today. And now we need to wash these. So I'll see you later. Bye. party peeps okay so we're finally getting dressed and ready for the day so i thought i'd change my outfit um here on my little tripod um i'm wearing this top that i thrifted from squaresville Majuri hoops and then um a long skirt i'm not sure if it'll be i feel like it'll be warm enough but we'll see this is the rest of the fit the long skirt the only coat i brought this leather jacket the only bag I brought, this bag, and then my go to Lixel Lips. Okay. Hey, Nicole. park we're at the worker park farmers market very cute but we are not in the market for produce so we just got some donuts and coffee to start our day yeah it's very cute it's very fall vibes right here right now <laughs> i'm living for it and there's so many dogs it's 10 out of 10 mornings for sure We're done with the farmer's market. My friends are taking me to a bookstore. We did thrifting yesterday, so it's time to be my book talker self.
party people what's up it's a little bit later we just got back we spent our whole day in wicker park today i picked up a couple things today first thing i picked up was a gold watch i got this one at the little thrift store they were just selling like all of these new but i thought it was really fun i talked about this a few videos ago i think i talked about it briefly when i was making my mood board but i definitely was talking about it when i talked about fall trends i liked and didn't like but one thing that i wanted to find this fall was a gold watch and so i got this one this was about like 30 dollars with tax which isn't too bad i really like it i really like the digital like interface i definitely want one that's a bit more like classic and a little bit more dressed up but i think this one is totally fun for like using on the reg so i'm super happy i picked this up and then the next place i bought something was at reckless records which feels silly because i do have to catch a flight on tuesday and take this on a plane and i figured that if i brought records home from the philippines which is like a totally different country and was like international travel i can definitely manage to bring home a record on a domestic flight and my friend nicole got this for herself and then i was like hey is there another one in there and there was and it's the marina and the diamonds electra heart platinum blonde edition this is for the 10 year and it's gorgeous i think we're gonna unwrap hers in a second and like spin it and i feel like this purchase really solidifies the fact that i am regressing as a human being i saw arctic monkeys i saw lord this year and now i bought a marina record in the year 2022 i am definitely healing my inner teenager this year <laughs> that's it i think we're just gonna chill the rest of the day all of us got to be working gals tomorrow so i think that's the plan um yeah good morning vloggy vlog it is officially harry day can we make some noise for harry styles i'm also at the third friend's house of this entire weekend we were in Pilsen, and then we were in the Ukrainian village, and now we're in Old Town. Um, I'm here with my friend Lissa. I can see her over here. Um, what time is it? It's one o'clock. We've been working all morning, um, and now we're gonna go get lunch. What did we do this morning? We just got coffee at Lissa's favorite place called Foxtrot. Wait, you need to see her. Her sweater. I tell everyone about Foxtrot when they come into town. Literally. It's like, it's not like Erwan, but it's as close to Erwan as a Chicago, like, fast grocer can get i think yes. it used to be like goddess in the grocery used to be really like bougie mm -hmm. and now everyone is they're everyone's foxtrot people we're gonna head over to small cheval which like is this like sister restaurant to all cheval which is like this restaurant everyone adores here in chicago and i've never had it in all my time i've ever been here um so now we're gonna get it today let's go outfit of the day this Sweater that I thrifted while I was here. Same yoga pants I've been wearing for days. All right, it's dead ass 3 p.m. But we're having a little cocktail hour. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. Yeah. Whoa. I'm into it. Lissa dead ass keeps trying to tell me that 818 has a vanilla aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe her. I mean, I'm sure, but my, I'm not like accustomed to it like that. But this little concoction that she made literally tastes like a key lime pie. I don't know. Cheers, Kendall. Thank you.
My name is Harry. It's an absolute pleasure to be here to play for tonight. Thank you so, so much. Just like to say before we get started, I know we were supposed to play on Thursday. I would like to thank you for your patience with us, for being here tonight. Can you feel the tension? Oh! This is epic. Yeah! Uh -huh. 